Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxings, and so much more. I am really excited to be reviewing something today and it's all thanks to a friend of ours from the channel. His name is Adrian K, and he has provided us amazing footage of his brand new Prime One Studio Arkham Knight Batmobile. Now this thing has been out for a while but I don't think we've had a chance to review it on the channel and I really wanted to take an opportunity here to highlight this piece and it all was uh, thanks to a couple of photos actually. He had it next to the Batmobile you see behind me and I'm going to show you that footage here in just a moment but it's really cool to see these 110 scale pieces next to each other and it really has me start to wonder maybe I need to pick that up and start a Batman or excuse me a Batmobile collection in my collection that would be pretty freaking sweet right so uh, without further ado let's review it see what I think and uh, I want to know what you think as well all right, guys, so let's check out this incredible footage from Adrian. Again, he did not want to appear on camera. He wanted me to share my thoughts, uh, but he wanted to show you the base first, uh, just so you can see some of the details. Some, a lot of times, you know, the actual Batmobile itself covers all of these details. Uh, so it's really cool that he did this footage for us uh, to be able to see, you know, the Arkham newspapers, which I thought was really cool, the weathering effect there. Obviously, this is a very heavy base. This is all polystone here. And again, this is uh, one tenth scale um, from, of course, the Arkham Knight. But I really like the details. I think that's really well done. Obviously, the pavement, the cracks, um, you notice little bits and pieces here. It just looks really good to me. Um, and I really like the weathering. I really like those torn and tattered newspaper, news pr uh, prints, basically. Um, I just think that looks really, really cool. Um, and again, the manhole cover, just all the little details that we don't normally maybe pick up as well. I think that that's really, really cool here. But I really like the base, but we're not here to see a base. I know you guys are not. I know you guys want to see the Batmobile. Now, this next part is even cooler because he is going to do a time lapse here. Uh, so these are all the pieces. So you can see it's got the main uh, body of the Batmobile. Look at the size of the tire here. It gives you an idea of, of how bulky and how awesome. Look at the detail here. Really, really cool. Now, this also lights up. Um, and so we're going to see that all lit up as well. But it's really cool to be able to see how it all fits together. Obviously, really strong magnets there. Looks really great. Uh, basically four different parts that add on and uh, you're going to see other pieces as well as he goes but it does look really cool uh, in my opinion now of course you have the cockpit you have the turret up top i mean look how amazing this thing looks and again i know not everybody out there loved the tank in the game but i really did uh, i think it's a really cool looking batmobile i think it has a lot of detail and i think it is really you know in the in the uh, lineup of batmobiles over the years i think this one definitely has its place i just think there's no questioning what it is uh, it's very kind of tumbler like but still very stylized as well. And I think it's just a really cool piece. I mean, look at the detail here. Look at the uh, amount of effort and work that Prime One put into this. Obviously from the game models, Again, this is one tenth scale, so it's not going to scale perfectly with the rest of the Arkham line, of course. Those are all one third scale. But I do think that this has a place in uh, a collection or with the Arkham line if you're still collecting that. Um, but if you, even if you're not, I still think this is a good piece to pick up. Now, this is very rare at this point. It is back up on the Prime One website. Uh, it's $1,599 USD. So it is pricey, but it is low stock remaining there. I think there were only 500 made worldwide so if this is something that you are interested in i highly recommend you check this out and you order it before it's gone um, i never see this come up on like buy sell trade groups or anything like that uh, again this has been out for a a minute so um, i will put the link in the description if you are interested in it um, but again it does come from prime one uh, you do also have to consider shipping and everything else but uh, i think this is a really fun piece um, it definitely has me wondering if I should add this to my collection or not. Uh, I still love the Arkham games. They're still some of my favorite games of all time. I still have a number of Arkham statues. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I, I just think it is a really, really kick butt Batmobile. Uh, I can't believe I kind of slept on this. I didn't know if I'd have the room or not. I still don't know if I have the room or not. But look at the detail here. It is just a really cool piece in my opinion.
Now here we go with the LED light up features. As you can see, it does have the LEDs in the tires. It also has kind of like headlights. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's what those are supposed to be or not, but uh, the fact that they're actually in the tires. Now these tires do not turn or anything like that. Uh, this is all polystone, so it's gonna be very heavy. Um, and again, they didn't necessarily need to put an LED element in it. Uh, I don't know if I would display it that way, but it is cool to probably, you know, to flip on and show your friends and that sort of thing. But also you notice it also has the back tires as well, uh, which is cool. Um, just really neat, right? And it also has that glowing af uh, afterburner, right? Uh, really cool there at the back. Um, and look how shiny it is. There's dull areas, there's shiny areas. Um, it's just really, really cool. And it's covered in armor. Man, this thing just looks absolutely fantastic. Now, this next section that I'm gonna show you, again, thanks to Adrian here, um, this is really quite something. So this is going to be, drum roll please, the Batmobile next to the Iron Studios Batmobile that I own. And look how good these pair up together. Again, these are both 110 scale. This is making me really want this thing. Uh, I just think that these would pair up really nice. I mean, how cool would it be to have a lineup of Batmobiles in your collection? Um, and I, 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 I've said this before that 110 scale I thought would be really small. I didn't think it had very much presence but I was wrong, it really, really does. And the fact that these both have interesting bases, um, I think that they tie in really well together. It's interesting to see how big they are together um, at scale at one tenth, and I just think they match up really, really well. I think that the, uh, the piece is just phenomenal, and I love the way it pairs up with the Iron Studios Batmobile. Just really, really impressive. Now there's one last thing I wanna show you here, and that is a size comparison to a one-third scale. Now this is the Queen Studios Joker. Um, I have that piece as well, uh, but it gives you kind of an idea how big it is. It is a large piece, um, obviously not as large as a third scale, but it's still really, really awesome. Is it worth it at $1,599? Still seems overpriced to me, but at the end of the day, I really like this Batmobile and I don't really know if anybody else is going to make it. I think this is a really amazing hit from Prime One Studio as always. All right guys, so there you have it, an incredible look at that amazing Arkham Knight Batmobile from Prime One Studio. I think this thing is incredible. Now I know not everybody liked the tank in the game, I get that, but I think it's such a unique take on the Batmobile for sure. And I absolutely love the way it looks next to the Batmobile back here. I think it looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna roll it over to you. Do you guys think I should pick up this piece and add it to my collection? Um, I don't have a lot of room as you guys know, but the thought of this in 110 scale, I, I like the idea of a row of these things. I think it could look really quite incredible. Of course, Iron Studios has teased some other Batmobiles like the animated series Batmobile. It'd be neat if they did a whole line of these. But with that said, I do wanna know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Should I add it to my collection or not? What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the piece? And again, I have to give a major thank you and shout out to Adrian. Thank you so much for providing that incredible footage and congratulations to you on your brand new Batmobile. I know you're incredibly excited about it. Congratulations, it is freaking sweet. Uh, again, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. If you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell. You guys know the drill. And if you wanna take it one step further, consider hitting the join button down below for early access to our videos and other perks such as bat boxes and much, much more. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in today. Love you all, and I'll see you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.